Hey YouTube, it's me, Boricua Lopez. Well, I'm here today with a haul. It's actually going to be a wet and wild haul, as you can see from the title. <coughs> um, 95% of it is wet and wild. The other little bit is just other brands. Okay, well, let's just get started. Um... Wet n Wild has come out with a, maybe I'll just call it like a new line called Color Icon, and it's where it seems that line specifically within Wet n Wild is a lot brighter, a lot more pigmented, a lot better quality, even though prices are still Wet n Wild prices. And for those of you who don't know, Wet n Wild is probably the cheapest drugstore line out there um back in the day i remember it as it being like pure crap but they're definitely um getting some really good products out there and i'm now whenever i go to the drugstore or target or whatever i make sure to check that section out and i keep finding things that i'm just more and more impressed with like my favorite gel eyeliner is wet and wild and it's like 3.99 crazy but anyways so back to the color icon stuff um they have actually new pencils and i'm sure all of you have had wet and wild pencils i know a lot of a lot of people use the eyebrow brown wet and wild pencil for as a filler for eyebrows and a lot of people use the um the lip liners and stuff like that but anyways they have some new color icon ones see because it says wet and wild but then it says color icon so, this one is in black, black, and I'll just swatch it for you. That's black, black, and it's really smooth. I wouldn't say it's as smooth as a cool eyeliner, but definitely good quality, 99 cents. Next color is called Olive. Then I'll swatch that. That's right under the black. And it actually has gold reflex in that one, which is nice. Next is a purple. I probably should have swatched these before, but oh well. There's purple. Next is white. And like I said, you can tell it's different because it says color icon right there white is under the purple <coughs> and the last sorry I'm a little sick and the last one is in dark brown and that's under the white so they're all really really pigmented which I really really like alright the next um, wet and wild product is called Idle Eyes, and these are very similar to NYX Jumbo Pencils. I think these are a cheaper alternative to the NYX Jumbo Pencils, even though the Jumbo Pencils run between, I think, three ninety nine dollars or four ninety nine. They run somewhere in between there, where these are two ninety nine. So a little bit cheaper, just as creamy, um, and very pigmented. So... I had a couple of these I got like a year and a half ago, and then I never saw any new colors come out, but today when I went, I saw some new colors, so I had to pick them up. Um, this one's called Electric, and it's just like it says, an electric blue, but it's more of a baby blue. It's coming out more baby blue on my camera, but yeah. Alright, next is, <coughs> excuse me, Techno, which is a light purple, really pigmented, these are really good, and last but not least is Distress, which is a navy blue, that's that, so if you're looking for a good alternative to the NYX Jumbo Pencils, there you go. Sorry, I'm going to put my hair up. It's annoying me. <sighs> okay. 
Next is a bronzer. It's a Wet n Wild Color Icon bronzer. And it is in Princess. Princess, that's what it's called, Princess. I think there was only one other color bronzer, but I don't know the name of it, but this is the one I like best. And here's a swatch of it on my finger. I will transfer it onto my skin. It, it's right underneath the navy blue. Can you see that? I really like this because although I tend to go more for matte bronzers, like it rubbed off my bronzer, but this has very um, small iridescence. So it's a little shimmery, but it's not overkill, where I would still go ahead and use this. So, that's that. Um, next is a new product I got from Milani called the Lip Flash. And it says, I've never seen a product like this before, that's why I had to get it. A full coverage shimmer gloss pen. And I got it in Star Flash, which is a baby pink. And I will go ahead and swatch this. This will be right above the black. Can you see that? It's it's just really shim really shimmery. It's right there. So I have it on my lips right now. So it, this claims to be like a lip gloss in pen form. Um, I have another gloss on top because just directly on my lips, it's too shimmery. It kind of pales me out. So I just went ahead and put a nude over it, but I can still see the pink tinge to my lips. So this is nice, but you, I think if you are of a darker complexion, like I'm just a little tan. I'm not even that tan. I didn't think this was way too light. So, um, but they had oranges, reds, p like pinks, other pinks. But this is just one seemed the most wearable to me, but I like it. I'll incorporate it somehow in my makeup routine every now and then. Alright, and next I picked up the L'Oreal Extra Volume Collagen. A lot of people have been talking about this, so I was just really interested in getting it. Um, because I decided I'm going to throw away a lot of my mascaras. Um, like, I try to do the three months thing, but then I feel kind of bad because it's like sometimes I have, like, so many mascaras that it may have been three months, but I've only used them that certain mascara three times and I feel like it's such a waste so but I told myself I'm gonna definitely throw away some mascaras today so I just went ahead and picked up a new one and I got it in black black which is the darkest color you can get or I think it was blackest black but that's what it looks like I like the packaging it looks kind of nifty it's 10 bucks Alright, and then I got the L'Oreal Elenet Satin Hairspray Extra Stronghold. Um, and I got the small version because I wanted something I could keep in my purse. And I'm just... I don't really like the way it smells at all, but I heard it's good, so we'll see if I like it. This was 7 bucks. That's kind of ridiculous, right? I didn't know how much it was till I got up to the counter. So this better be worth it. <laughs> Alright, and my if I can reach it. <sighs> my last product is hair dye. As you can see, my hair is it's a natural color right now. I had dyed it previously, but that washed out so quickly because I just dyed it like one shade darker brown. So it it like you know, it washed out so quickly after, like, oh, two months. But this is my natural hair color. It's, like, a dark brown, I guess. Like, a medium dark brown. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and dye it soft black. Um, I thought since I have a little bit more of a tan now than I've had all summer, that this, um, this would look nice. So, I guess maybe next time you'll see me in a video. I'm going to try to do this tonight. So, and I, I got this brand because I really like the way it smells. Um, so yeah, hopefully it looks really nice. Alright guys, that is it for my haul. Um, I hope you liked it. Any questions, comments, or anything below. And thank you guys so much. Hope you have a great day. Bye.